instead, that's nice to see. So even though we haven't seen North Georgia really be able to march forward with a lot of convincing attacks, at least the oh. back line up until now has been secure. Can't get the read on the bounce, and that's finally our first goal. 10 seconds to go for mm -hmm. Kennesaw trying to close this one out. Yeah, still with the pressure here from Kennesaw. Now only our second demo. This one from oh! downtown, and that's going to be an own goal here at three seconds. We spoke a little too soon here, Danger Talk. Slavic left side, little tap, not really taking away possession. Now definitely does. This player going up the double tap. Hugh Dog and North Georgia come from behind victory with the Puma symbol on the side. As we have seen many uh, many time with new rosters in the beginning of the semester, this might be the first time these players are really playing together at all. So this is really setting the tone for how you guys all click together. Quang trying to bury one here on the near Ooh, post, and he okay. does just that. Better be able to pad those stats. Kwong throwing it right back in. That should be open, but it's just <laughs> wide instead. Almost gets the nose down onto it. A couple members fighting, twisting, and now an open net the other way going for North Georgia. Nobody's almost hitting payload. Now is Joel. A little soft hit right there. Kind of just puts it in the breadbasket of a couple North Georgia players. That's really, really bad as this one comes all the way down from the other side. Being able to con the defense out of a clear that gets you the ultimate goal as we will be able to enter into that 1-1. Maybe not for long as that clear gets away. Hugh Dog into Ooh. Archie and yep. well worked from North Georgia. Safe to the side. They're feeling like heroes. They're keeping it up. Slavip into the ceiling. Sharky doesn't oh. get it. Joel with a deflection. It's Quark at zero. Hugh Dog in the way. Another save. North Georgia will very much okay. so take that ball hitting the grass over time somehow. Now coming up for the serve. Hugh Dog down. That's a bouncer just a little bit too high though as Sharky tries to continue the theme down bottom. And Archie does it here for North Georgia. Set up all day long. Now shoots in right now. The Quonk is going to win that 50. Seems screaming off to the side. Bounce off some wall and now ends middle until North Georgia gets another shot at it. Let's be open for Ooh. Hugh Dog and they will make oh no mistake. Quonk, I got to say, a great <laughs> effort, but sometimes you need something even greater. You're seeing a player get thrown all the way across like Joel's really just flailing and you're thinking, okay, well, I probably have enough time to go to the corner and then instead it is in your net something. And welcome back once again, homies, to some more collegiate valor action right here on Esports U. I am Ravish Two Ravish, the most ravishing member of the internet. Joined here by my side by a very good friend, Mr. Colin Moore. What's up, Colin? You know, I never get tired of your intros. Never get tired of them at all. You look lovely today, Ravish. And I'm excited Thanks, because we got our week number two of the ECC. We got New York Tech White going up against the College of Staten Island and I think these two teams are looking for a little bit of a pick-me-up because into week number two, both sitting 0-1 in the standings. Mm-hmm. Indeed, it is a very early, early, early on in the season going into Collegiate Valor, naturally. So we'll, uh, we'll see how they end up shaping up naturally with the 0-1 scores. So, you know, it could be a tough start. The teams are getting together. They maybe they don't have breakfast yet. We'll find out. It's a bit later in the day. Right here, 70 ST on the East Coast. So hopefully, they manage to fuel on up and to get into our games for the day, as we do already have Mac picks and bands. You're seeing more. What yeah, do we have we do. for them? And surprise, surprise, I think we could have all guessed this as we were going into this match. It's going to be Haven, mm -hmm. Ascent, and Bind. The most exciting map pool that we could probably ever get in Collegiate Valorant of all time, hands down. 
I can't contain my excitement for what I'm about to see. The maps that have been around since the beginning of the game of its release three years ago, and we continue to get to see them every day. Yippee! They keep can't getting wait. better. I know. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, it's just, it's as though <laughs> just the innovation is needed to stop, and teams have managed to boil down to simplest things, which is just, hey, we're probably going to see mirror comps on both these sides. Um, you know, Jet, you know, probably Jet, Breach, Sova, Killjoy, and then maybe a fun initiator mix-up. But, hey, you know, I could always be proven wrong for what is to come. Uh, and I'll have to wait and see for that, though. Staten Island, New York Tech are seeing some interesting covers, but I'll believe you when I see it. Of course. I mean, they're teasing us right now a little bit. They got the Gecko hover over for New York Tech White, uh, mm -hmm. the Chamber hover on Lonnie. We saw Staten Island actually last week on stream, and I'm pretty sure they opted for the Astra pick over the Omen pick on a couple of maps that we did see. Mm -hmm. So I would be interested to see if they stick with that going into this week, although going up against an Omen usually leaves you a little bit slower in your dy dynamics around the map. So I would love to see mm -hmm. Branatham switch off that Astra onto the Omen for this matchup. They locked in the Gecko pick for New York Tech. I, I don't know what to think about seeing Gecko on Haven. Usually you do not see this pick at all. I would expect, you know, maybe a Sky instead of that for the Initiator. But uh, the mm -hmm. Gecko definitely is going to make it a lot harder for some entries on the site until you get that Thrash possibly looking to detain on the entries. And you know, for the yeah. other side... Shattered again, Staten Island, opting for the fade pick, which actually was quite comfortable for this team on Haven, is something that we don't normally see lately on this map. Yeah, I do personally enjoy the fade as well. I remember when Fade, Mez fade Meta was in uh, taking over the world with alongside Breach and Fade, you would have these giant sight white ultimates, uh, especially across Haven, would help you take control almost instantaneously. Although she has been nerfed quite a bit, but it is still nice to see how team managed to utilize both her haunts and her dogs to be able to clear out close corners at small inches of sights. Usually for fades, though, you do want to try to have the combo that of someone that can do damage alongside her. And actually with the Cs, it can follow up on it e easily. As of right now, though, don't see that being don't see that being there as an option. But hey, I'd like to be surprised for what else this team has managed to cook up. Like you were saying, the gecko on the other end, an interesting choice. One that will definitely make a lot of these long side lines much harder. Yeah, because a lot better at maps with more open areas because you can take control with Dizzy and, of course, lock down small entrances with Mosh. Aside from that, though, we do have at least some amount of time. It is Haven. It is two different initiatives from what we're used to seeing. So I will patiently fly back and wait and see what we have for ourselves and you know the gecko might not be a horrible pick for when you're executing onto the a site or the c site no. but when you look at a site like b I, I mean maybe the mosh pit will come in more handy for locking down one of the lanes and just focusing attention onto the other but it's not going to be easy for new york tech i feel to execute onto this b site and it's going to leave them i think a little bit one-dimensional in what we're going to be seeing for their attacking side possibly you know, just constant C hits or, or constant A hits to at least get the most out of these agents. But it it's kind of goes both ways in that sense with having a fade at the same time doesn't really make it any difference for the College of Staten Island. I feel fade is also quite limited in what you're able to do on this map. And you do need to combo it like you're saying. And without having something like a raise or something to combo it with damage aspect of the utility... You're going to be looking at them to get creative and see if you can pair it up with a blind out of the omen and then, you know, swing out, play for contact off of it. It's going to be very creative how both of these initiators do line up inside of this map. So I feel like although we get a haven map number one, it's still going to be a surprise to see how these initiators really match up against each other. Mm hmm. In terms of the actual teams, though, though for, for the side bears, I have seen them quite a decent amount in terms of the past CVL season. You know, they did quite well in the region, too, I believe, just barely not managed to, managed to break that top two, but were quite close and found a better swing of things as, as the season did go along, though. But as a brand new year with a newer roster here as well, I do wonder how they managed to adapt as they had a couple of seniors graduate. As we stand here now to the wonderful, beautiful, and scenic view of Haven, all right, well get to experience what both these rosters have in store for us. Also, Colin, 
I don't know if you noticed. I shaved. It looks great. It. it looks great. I don't believe you. You're, you're just, it's, I feel like I look like a circle. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard to not dislike yourself when you shave initially. I get the same exact feeling that it's just, it feels so off, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I look like a geometric shape. I look like PS2 graphics. I feel like I can find the radius now. <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> I look like R squared, man. It's just, <laughs> it's just I don't know. I, I, I honestly just did it on a whim. But now I feel like, you know, I've, uh, 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 if you wanted to use me to, you know, perhaps like measure pi, you probably could, bro. How many, you know, or like, how big is the radius of your pie in comparison to the radius of Ravish's face? Dude, you know what? Uh, I, don't, I don't, that's a weird question to answer, but uh, uh, I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and, and end it off here. You know, like that children's game where you like put it like j j uh, just the shapes in the right geometric holes. Was it like uh, operation? Yeah, yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm the cylinder that you like toss in there at the top, right? Oh, not the cylinder. <laughs> You're more but, than just the cylinder. Thanks, man. I'm a, I'm a six foot cylinder. We have <laughs> Haven in front of us, though. As uh, we look to pop on in, like, is it all of the questions we found? We didn't get a chance to talk about the Sentinel. I'll be in the chamber first hand, and as a chamber right away, getting the first pick on Lonnie. But the smoke even drops. He sights. Uh, the poke will be given up. A spike moves over. It's Tazzy sees one. I feel, you know, with the chamber pick too, as we didn't dive into that one, it's going to make it even harder to back this chamber down from these long sight lines, not having a sky. I think, you know, having this dizzy isn't really going to help you out on that map. So you're really going to have to look into seeing if you can smoke it off or use your Sova to back down this chamber more often than not. Mm -hmm. At least it will help them clear out long though. Usually the breach will be doing this too with a fault line. So, you know, be able to get the entire sideline of it. But did he who duck in? This would be yours. The dog should go out. Sees Cupcake here. It's Daisy. And the fader's putting some shots. Sees one below. That's Killjoy gone. And the second as well from Shattered. And why IT? The initial pistol attack completely shut down. No offensive advantage is found. And five people strong. No CSI. We'll take them all. And no really idea shown by New York Tech in this whole round for the pistol. Even just having five players hit one side would have been better than, you know, what you put together inside of this round just separating. But hey. Max is, you know, doing at least a little bit here. No way he gets Brandon in there. Uh, you know, one versus five, you bring it down to two members. Not too bad, but it's just the pistol round. So you can't really add that up to too much if you're Max. <laughs> Yeah, they were BMing just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to see if they can get that classic knife kill. That'll work out, though. That's okay. Like you're saying, it's a pistol. Them dying here is better. Actually, just they got the round. Able to buy on up, get themselves a nice nice couple of marshals, a stinger, even a guardian. Not bad. Not bad at all. I feel like, you know, if I'm New York Tech thinking about this Gecko pick, I need to see him be fast. Just enter into a site, use this utility right away, dump it for a kill, and mm -hmm. hopefully you can set up a post play. Well, that's a start, right? Match to shoot one. Guardian doesn't get any shots, though. Slagger from the side takes one of their own. A big paranoia onto three, and that's two lined up for Banatham. Easy does it. Does it. I, I, it's just it's tough to you know think about what to do right now even if you're all just at an island all you have to do is wait and back each other up in the sense you know you're not going to be forced off these angles so these setups that they have even towards be there knowing that new york tech might just want to take some close fights at paranoia was huge all you have to do if you're banned at them is just wait and set up the rest of your team and you see it, it's the three the players get blinded by that paranoia 3k with the guardian is going to be huge and Heading into the rifles now for New York Tech. This is where we really get to see what they've been cooking on the sidelines after the loss last week versus Utica Blue and what game plan they're coming into Haven with. Where is Utica, by the way? Do you know? Uh, off the top of my head. Doesn't matter. 
Shutter to get seen of these, but it's in New York. I believe it. Dog Here. gets shot away. This, but to get the early info that at least someone is still watching that angle. Force PK would be surely suicide and decide to at least hold off for now. That is quite spread apart on the offense, especially leading towards a and that's a nasty first shot. The wall headshot right to the dome of the opposition jet. Now look at the space that Ten's looking to take. See if you can recover possibly a rifle off of that jet's body. Good denial from uh, New York Tech, but still losing out onto that first player. Not having that jet is going to make it so hard to entry onto these sides as you already see the poking and prodding through Garage as well as sewers. But with Garage open, might be time for New York Tech to pack their bag and start rotating the sea. Space all unclaimed, but exactly like you're saying, B seems to be the ticket. The element to try to just walk in first. They want to more than likely just smoke off the backside of Paranoia once again. Get better than the ability to move away. away. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, sorry. We may get shot, but so does Brandon. Sight, it's 3v3 by the end of it. They have the angles cover as wave and then walk in. First shot not taken, second, though they are found towards the backside. A lot of damage put in. It's a little 2v2, and that's a 4k for the killjoy by the end. And a fun fact, too, about New York Tech that uh, I, th I think I'm going to be looking at for this matchup. The Jet, I don't know, board after last week, uh, coming out with a 44% headshot percentage rating uh, from those two maps that they did play in that loss. So Jesus. if, you know... I don't know, Board can step up into that entry role, start to find those one taps with those vandals, really step up in the slaying aspect. It's going to be a little bit easier for these these entries uh, onto the sites, but it really boils down to this jet starting to heat up as an 0-3 start. It's not something you like to see. Now 0-4 and, and Ken taking them apart. And that's the issue once again. Where did that go? Well, it's a big haunt as well, mind you, where they tag on two of their players. And a lobby, allow for the smoke for the cross, but the Gecko's did only cover so much, right? It's a small peek away, and you can cover the same space again. Right away for the re-peek. Get them the space, waiting the bait with the orb. Oh, man, that's just cool. And it was great last week, too, and it's really comfortable, comforting to see that, you know, Staten Island, I feel like they've only got better. And, you know, even though they lost in week number one, it was a map three loss. They made it competitive. And this is not a team that you want to take lightly. Planting out of the open is going to be bold in a two versus five. But if you can play on site with all of the space that goes in the game, play together, it's going to make it so much easier. Smokes go down and Ken's on site already. Yeah, they've had it off for long as well, too. And it caught good for taste. And the Fought by the fade. But that round was almost over right as it started. It gave away to. They stuck themselves by A lobby, not too sure where to go from there after they lost two crucial members. And then again, the third. And by the time you're thinking, okay, we saw a spike, they know exactly where we are. The rounds is uh it's pretty tough to come out from, but on the last of four and wait see. I do want to see a bit of a comeback here, right? We're thinking much out online though. Considering it is going to be the save. They are forcing up to be noted. So, one hero rifle at least. What am I? They all sell away. Save weapons all around. As we head into the next. Wani on an angle with the op. It's the chamber not having to use this sort of force just yet. And nowhere close to that ultimate means that this boomstick is going to be, I guess, the spearhead of this seaside so far but a double setup with saga here in the bridge the fault line should connect to the players on long sonar is going to give it away nice paranoia and it's going to be down to lonnie to see if he can hopefully help out but nothing going to connect just yet the ghost is going to hit some mark i don't nice. know board finally hits some shots here with the sheriff and it's the big turnaround that you needed you know lonnie's going to be the back operator has been seen what? but nobody's checking it huh <laughs> All right. That should have happened. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing about that should have happened. Now it's understandable that with the with the initial, uh, uh, with just the initial entry that well, 
there's some contact that you make by garage like sure option of the crap that's fine so you go ahead give it the space to move into scenes that you know it's gonna be a t hit it will flash right away to give it some and flashing the chilani as he was entering into trying try to get op shot so that got delayed they got on site and then two were giving away for free by sh by the sheriff so it's like it's just guys we're watching the same angle when we're all on site so it's not exactly yeah. conducive to a good defense you know it's hard to break something down when all you're looking at is that everything that could go wrong did go wrong for staten island and Losing that round is going to be a little bit of a kicker, but you don't have ultimates this time, and Lonnie's connecting with some shots through smoke, giving some freebies to take away that killjoy. Shattered's going to find, I don't know, Boar with so much space off that A-long approach that you did see. Shattered's going to get two into the round. Lonnie as well, and Max in a one versus five. They haven't even seen... They haven't even entered onto any of these sites, let alone leave their spawn, it feels like. See, seeing these rounds makes me question... Like the previous rounds of CSO, because they'll add his shots like that and do that where they just decimate anyone. I see. They'll have rounds like two rounds ago where they just got taken on a save with a sheriff, pretty much. So, confusion, I think, is the right word for it. But CSI still seem to be very comfortably uh, playing for, the, with them, for themselves. They do have the Twitter Force online as well. Meanwhile, Five ultimates for NYIT. The play search will be popped as soon as the round starts. This is where it comes down. I want to see this thrash get used early on. See if you can maybe nice. find a player and detain them. But that's a good start. The Blade Storm's going to take down Lonnie like you asked for. Backs off these players from the seaside. Lockdown's going to be invested from both sides. It looks like, no, just the attackers so far. It's no Killjoy on CSI. So we're going to be looking at the A take. Really fast off of this lockdown. Well, looks like the retake's gonna stem from just the defender side as well as heaven. They fall as well. They put on all five players to the the spread out right on the edges. They're holding all triple angles. We were entering one by one is the issue. CSI just give away single picks. Meanwhile, all, all three crucial angles are covered from NYT. A little bit you know, unfortunate how they gave away pretty much the round as a whole. Where they they were as one, I can say, I feel like we just a few fault line and flash on top of that from there, too. You wouldn't be able to clear off all the clear uh, all the crucial client angles or go in for at least trades, too. But one by one, unfortunate that they just gave it all away. We stand here now, though. NYT, keep me close. Yeah, they are, and I feel like a big part of that last round did come down to Breach not using that utility on the retake. And here, Max is going to open up with the first blood, so Ken's got a lot of work to do. Without that Blade Storm either, invested all of the knives early on, so just down to a classic. The Thrash is going to get dropped. No approach just yet on the, uh, the flank, so Stat Island once again going to be looking at a retake just from the defender spawn and how you look to see if you can interrupt something in the meantime. They make it on the side once again using the can for that as they look to set up the paranoia. The can the Wait, that's exactly how I wanted to see the previous entry, but I guess again it's a one girl for Sage, the 2v2 by the end of it. As they walk one after the other, no flashes left available here either. One on hell. And the killer towards the side of smoke. This base should be one v one. There it is, Rosaga. Doesn't know who the final person is either. It's gonna have Damn to well. tap it. There are no more. on here either. They're gonna have to be a peak. But it's delaying at this point. Because he has the whole time. That's NYT side up. I love that from NYT to KJ not really giving away their position whatsoever after that one versus one from Saka comes out. So, you know the Nano Swarm's not down, so it has to be down to your timing. You play it correctly, you figure the tap is going to be there, and you couldn't ask for a better, I guess, clutch scenario coming out from your Killjoy. On top of the entry we saw from Max getting the better of Shattered, not having that fade to retake onto A, makes it so hard to re... It's kind of layer your utility off of this breach, because as you kind of mentioned... After the fault line was gone, after the flash was gone, 
he really didn't have anything else for Sokka to do. And Max goes ahead and just does it again. So this comeback from New York Tech has been fantastic to bring it back to a 4-4. Now looking for a chance to get, get 5, but Shatter doesn't want to give up the site with a Stinger. I love this call. He's thinking about going forward to come out. He's going to wait in the closed corner here. Try to find something if he possibly can. Sees one right away. And doesn't expect the second though. Unfortunate, but still gets his. Might just be the one. As he trade back evenly. See a side. See, see what he can get done. Have to go nuclear right now. Just one tap galore and a one versus three. But this crossfire being held is going to be known from Lonnie. But you have to pick one and you choose the right side. You're going to be shot in the back from the left. So once again, New York Tech finding some flaws in the pacing of uh, Staten Island's Ravish. From what I'm seeing, the Dolphins just feeling so confident on these early engagements. These 1v1s that they've been taking in the past. But this change that New York Tech has been making is just stack everybody onto this A side, expect somebody to push up sewer, find that kill, and then dump everything onto site so you guys can just overwhelm the rest. Their trades have been impeccable in the past three rounds. So how will Staten Island look to kind of change this one? Fault line out towards Crash. Ward is going to get caught from it, but still stays alive. That's going to give space for the walkthrough mid here. Is it look to find as many as he can? Look at the smoke there. That's one right away. Dash to the corner. What was not give any space, but Max finds his centimeters to get his trade back. Knows he's there. Nice shot. It's an easy trade back down to a 4v2. All centered by spawn to one by one for this jet. And it's so damn easy. Just one tap after one tap out of Ken. This is why they've been feeling confident off of these duels. Lovely space taken through mid. Nobody on New York Tech inside of mid window to stop that. And the, with the Jet and the Fade both using their utility to lock the middle of the map down, all Saga needs to do is hold them in place. And you just, you let Ken go absolutely nuts. 13 and 6. New York Tech feeding into that a little bit. And Lonnie's still rocking with this operator over towards, you know, the C half of the map. So with New York Tech knowing that, it seems like it's not going to be an option with the fact that you have been struggling with taking these long fights. Oops. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Caught a peek. Seeing the second, not going to find it. And to leave him. Down on the doorstep with just a trade, if anything, but the space once again for NYIT to walk their way in. And walk their way, they will. It seems like the retake is being set up off this rolling thunder that you have in the hands of Saga. Thrash is going to look to detain somebody, nobody home to eat that up. So, yeah, this whole retake that Staten Island are looking at is going to be off the back of this Rolling Thunder, most likely. And New York Tech doesn't have anything to stop it. A trade once more while they find it on the outside of A. Oh, the op up top and the breach alt as well. Just to guarantee them something, the spray through the smoke will find them another as Shatter stops right on time before his demise. For Max takes one, Lonnie takes his. Only two strong CSI make their comeback. These are the kind of retakes I want to see. At the start, it was a little bit of a, I'd say, rolling ball that just kept on growing and growing for Staten Island. New York Tech have found their way back, but the, both of these teams are making lovely adaptations around each other. For the retake there, you know, Saga a few rounds ago, and you touched on this a little bit, Ravish, wouldn't have used that utility, and, you know, the rest of the team would be ahead of that, but... Whoever is calling right now for Staten Island has really made it apparent that they want to wait for this breach to retake this site. And it has paid off in dividends over towards uh, A. And now on C, Lonnie hasn't had too much off the brink, but so I might have a time to shine here. The Owl Drone is going to see that, tag him, the peek away. Lonnie not want, doesn't want anything to do with that. Hunter Fury, now a chance oh. to get rid of that operator. And they do a great job at locking it down. Get greedy does not shoot the drone takes the hit cannot find one of his own and how to free pays off a shattered hd flank find one 
The second of the haunt dropped a bit too early though. Does not know that there's a, still a couple over by spawn. They might look to find it with, and with window covered, they are forced into moving it to C. Unless Cupcake can clear that out, but currently though, deadlocked inside long. Three players already rotated over towards C as well. Staten Island have a chance to fight this one now. From the shadows, from Max is going to go right on top of the C side. Flash out from Saga's for the swing. Wingman's going to be planting this one of the lovely paranoia laid on top of that one. Saga's going to swing out. Find two. Operator now in the hands of the Killjoy. One versus two. Spike isn't planted. So now, if you're New York Tech, this Killjoy has to go huge with the op in hand. 25 seconds in the lockdown available. I believe Aftershock is available still. Company. If they want to use it to get that out. Actually, no, not, not at all. I guess not. They'll have to just evacuate just a tad, but the range isn't even that much. They can just go towards the back of the site. KJ has a lot more work to do. Out of time. And CSI should take this half seven to five. No options to do right there. I mean, I know you only have the lockdown, but with an operator, in your hand unless you're trying to look for one of the players exiting from those close corners nobody's gonna have to walk into your sight lines and you see it right there is in new york tech just get cut to pieces in that round ravish if i had a nickel for how many times shattered walked down a long and found a kid kill through a mid window i'd have two nickels through that round but i'm cra it's crazy that it happened twice there because if shattered who has in the past had the tendency to get aggressive through a long was picked there would have been a lovely time for new york tech to hit that rotation over towards a but with nobody watching that with everybody just so hyper focused on these opening kills towards c versus this uh this chamber if the players on uh, staten island over at a just have so much free reign over this and we go back into the pistol where you know again staten island they look so dominant back in the first half walking together like he's been confident as ever He's one towards the back. It's just a trade. The spike not gone down just yet. Hard to see. The rest of the team of NYIT is looking to flood in for an out. Meanwhile, they've lost two of their members. As they're still waiting on side of CSI. There we go. They find their space. As NYIT look, look to make their way in. It's a three on three, but look how weak the Omen and Jet are. These pistols really need a body shot to find these first two kills. But Board is going to get an angle. Wingman. Going to see if you can stun somebody up, but it's going to be down to the full collapse now with numbers to trade it out. And nobody on CSI gets a single kill. It is a flawless retake onto site behind their jet. I don't know. Board is flexing now that headshot percentage with the sheriff. It seems like it's the best gun he can use. It was just a clean retake. Once again, CSI out in the open, not covering the angle. NYC gets to walk their way in, gets two for free. And then considering... It all pretty much is bunched up onto the site. It leaves them hoping and wanting for more, which they cannot get us an easy round taken. And the pistol here going to the bonus should leave them at a even half once more for NYIT. Close is the game as always in collegiate. I would expect nothing less. And if now I don't know board can start to harness some of this striking potential and pop off in this jet roll and you see how much help that would give to the rest of the team sicko is going to get forced out of garage looks like ken wants to hunt this kill down nice usage of the shock darts to soften that jet up and a lovely first kill looking for a little bit more in comes the rest of csi to trade that out now grabs a phantom in the hand of Branathan and you know with this omen i mean we know he can put this one to good use swings out one versus three now see if Branathan can clutch up I mean, with a hero rifle now, it's entirely possible, but he has to watch the angle. Oh, board again, man. It's just, it's just so clean with the sheriff every time. I think he just, he should just continue using it. Forget the rifle. You're better on the sheriff, homie. Yeah, there you go. Oh, they're feeling, they're feeling fancy. They're going to drop that sheriff. Max is going to use it. I don't know. Board is going to force up towards the phantom alongside sicko. Bulldog pick for I hate your cupcake, and it looks like Max wasn't at least fond of that sheriff only. The Guardian, which we saw Branathan put to good use over towards B, back on uh, the CSI defender side. So, 
Now, with losing out on those two rounds, that 7-5 half has been cut down to 7-7. Seven, seven. Tied game we're looking at. And the Marshall is hitting it. It's Mark. Branatham's going to go down. The fault line is going to catch this Killjoy, but now Swarm should be able to slow this. Only a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, Killjoy falls almost instantaneously. Leaving them on a 3-2 to two by the end of it. As it walked their way in, through C connector by spawn, only one more person is just bored left. Yeah, and one I me mean, three. I don't know about this. If there's anybody to do it, it's gonna be hey. him. If they're not even hey. looking the right way, it's gonna be Ken. So Lonnie almost going down to the Phantom as well as walks away with 33 HP revision. Mm -hmm. Staten Island, although they lose those first two rounds, they head into the rifle. Two yeah. players stay alive and they still hold on to this very narrow lead. I don't know the exact right word for it, right? It's just close margins to extreme amount, but naturally so. As rounds go back and forth, it will have to be a save for NYIT. As CSI got their first with the gun rounds. And they continue to do and they continue the push and pull. This should be there as well. But I've seen great things happen on saves for NYIT. I would not be surprised if it happened here again. It's a full stack by a lobby. Has to be on board though. No way. Easy first. It's a sheriff. It has to be easy. Walks away with 45 HP, so you know, not flawless in the kill, but a kill is gonna go a long way now. As board is looking in for a second one. Utility in the hands of wow. Saka. Get this gun back up to the trade. Still with good HP too. The aftershock is going to block off the reinforcements from I8. Your cupcake shatter is gonna decimate this gecko. And plenty of space for the spike to go down. Nobody working the flank either. 4v3 on the save here as well. They'll use the molly to clear up the space by the spike if anything, but they can still hold they can still just hold back. All of them at least a bit more spread out at this point. The paranoia goes out for them on crossfire angles. And they can easily hold the site from here. No need to get over aggressive. As for NYIT, it's all off to them with no heavy control. It's just a matter of time before they all get taken out. That is it. But it was a save by, by the end of it. Ravish, it seems like control is the name of the game right now for Staten Island, the way that they're oh. playing this A site. And you see having the fade up, the breach, and the omen in that post plant. The paranoia slows down the push from the defender spawn. You isolate the player into heaven with this uh, with the fade. And Saga playing over towards sewers. All you need to do is throw down that fault line, block it off after the paranoia wears off, slow down the reinforcements again, and let that spike tick down. Force some pressure on these defenders for that retake. And I think one, there's just nothing you can really do. So... Heading into this next round, uh, rifles in the hands of New York Tech. This is where we need to start to see them step up. Ken entering on, and two players going to be here to try to stop it. Sicko is going to be blinded, and Ken walking for free all the way in the back gets a double kill, opening up the site. It's like nobody even noticing the Pyrrhon didn't hit them either. They were looking towards the other side, thinking that they might pop out of there. You see on the cam here as well, because there's two over towards the back end that are easily taken out by the sprays from members of Ken and NYT to spray down within seconds a flawless flawless take flawless and I mean nothing really to make it otherwise in that sense is just New York Tech get a little bit walked on like you said I think they were a little bit disoriented in the back of sight the paranoia didn't really hit its mark. It might have brushed the shoulder of one of those players and blinded one, but the second one should have been there to help out. Ken is getting in for free and getting so much value out of this jet. And I need to start to see a little bit of formation here from New York Tech to see if you can start to utilize some utility to slow down Staten Island and isolate those kills. Maybe Ward to get a couple kills would help out, but the Prowler right around catches the jet and not this time, they say. Easy stuff for CSI, a fast take once more. NYIT are quick to evacuate though. They do have trash, they want to use stuff to retake here as well. But a second thing, they're gonna choose a strategy, looking to move up to have the public little flash down first. Smoke dissipates though, as the rest of CSI are still almost all on site. Chamber holding a deep flank, but they're all here. 
Dude, they're walking through PM, oh. find them, and they all get sprayed down. And before he, 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 can, he can make his come up, and they just die. It looks so clean on this attacking side, too. They didn't even have to use the Nightfall or the Bladestorm there. So, like, Staten Island, they are, you know, stacked to the brim with ultimates to use for their next round. If they want to take map point, they can do it by force with these alts. You need to see New York Tech invest some of their own to see if you can chop up some of the pacing of Staten Island. Love to see a Thresh, you know, off of an aggressive Gecko play. Maybe mm -hmm. to catch out a couple of those players from the Detain, then swing out and, you know, make an individual hero play off of that. Or even still, back up, player life. Let the Hunter's Fury see if you can catch a pick on two players executing onto the side. There's so much options right now for New York Tech to see if they can stop this. If they're up close, so they have an iPhone that we're seeing looking to be set up by the corner. There it is. Should be able to get all three on site, but Ken goes in first and straight from Lonnie. As it locked them all down, the barrel to catch the by the flash close by. The C1 as they're all deafened. Saga and Brennan to do it all by themselves with just the KJ left. So hard to play this game when you can't hear Ravish. I mean, that's why I love the fade pick. And now New York Tech, everything riding off the shoulder of your killjoy to see if you can retake this site in one versus three fashion but they have no idea lonnie's here lonnie's setting up for the knife pick turret's gonna give it away no no knife kill gonna be available oh. at least a little bit more guns to take away from these players but staten island are finding map point here and now on haven it is their chance to start off this series very strong very comfortable and why see we'll have to save just the one rifle they'll get. They have locked down for next round. They did not evacuate in time. Oh no, Shattered. That's a bit of fortune. I wonder, how, I wonder what the Eagle's like. They're oh, rich. No, they're so rich. They're fine. They're, they can slap them with their wallet if they wanted to. It doesn't matter at all. That's a heavy wallet too. I mean, yeah. even Literally Brandon, maxed, look, he's got a full buy and he still has 7.6K. New York Tech. It's going to take them one or two rounds to break this economy. And, and, and off of that, they have to be some flawless rounds, too, because when I mean, you look at you know New York Tech's economy is nowhere close to matching that up. So if you lose here, you lose, obviously, the map. But if you win these rounds oh my and lose God. out three players, you're not going to be able to buy up yet again. Massive dart here as well. Arntus Fury stopped in his tracks. And he chooses to continue aiming. We'll give up his life for it here as well. As they clear out the rest on site. And YT trying to play close to the chest and super aggressive. As they get punished for it. But they, the lockdown is still alive and well. They will have to evacuate, but still 1v3 once again. Dancefulness still here though. They have the full setup for this post plan and gonna have to go deep off of it not even gonna be able to place this killjoy turret up top because of this smoke the one way he's gonna deny that information and you have the tour to force watching all the way deep down sea long a very comfortable map one being shown there ravish from the side of staten island after losing a very close week number one their bounce back looks really good indeed it does and even half was expected but eventually one that got away from them but this is a best of three series, naturally. The aggressive strats and innovation will continue to reign supreme as we have a scent up next. So, y'all don't go nowhere. We'll be back in a bit.
Welcome back, everybody, to ECC. We're heading into map number two of a, of a very comfortable map one from the College of Staten Island. It was a W on Haven, and now we're heading into Ascent map number two. My name is Seymour. With me is the most ravishing man on the internet, Ravishing Ravish. And <laughs> how are you feeling after that map number one? Because Staten Island, they look good. They do look good indeed. There were look, questions I had consistently where there were some rounds where they look like just the best team on the server and some rounds i scratched my bald head and stand my and go bald went beard. ahead and and my, my bald ears and also my bald face where i just <laughs> continue to question guys what are we doing here what's what's going on here you know uh but hey i hope they can answer these questions for me sooner rather than later because idk board decided that some rounds he was just going to be just a monster uh, by by taking the sheriff, getting three for himself. I mean, I, descent, we'll see. I know for like I don't know board is probably not a stat we would have available, but I want to know how many kills you had with like the rifles compared to the sheriff for I don't know board because <laughs> I feel like there's one thing that I want to see when we head into a set. I just want to see the sheriff in his hands as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You seem like he just wants that machine. Honestly, take the guardian. Forget the vandal. You might as well. It just works better too. But going into a set, that is an instant Yoru lock in for Staten Island. Not <laughs> even a question. Not even a thought. Uh, all right. Bear in mind, this is for Lonnie, though. Lonnie, who was playing the chamber last round. Uh, so it's quite a bit of a uh, quite a bit of a switch up in play styles. It's still naturally gonna have the, the other standard stuff. Of of course, the the jet. The KO, the KJ, and the Omen. So switch about the Sova double duelist. Okay. All right. Cool. I don't mind that. I guess for a map like Ascend, you could get away with it for sure. I think more often than not, you'd see a Phoenix instead of a Yoru. But like you said, no hesitation if, on the Yoru pick. Yeah. If at all. Yeah. I, and you, I think that, you know, Yoru you'd most likely see on bind but if you can flex over to the yoru i mean like you said sometimes you know staten island in the server they just did not look touchable back on haven and maybe lonnie's just feeling like hey in the chamber wasn't getting that much action let's ramp it up a little bit with the yoru and i'm excited for it i am interested i am a yoru fan I really enjoy playing the agent just as a whole. So I'm hoping to see some cool stuff. I'm hoping to see, you know, just some interesting stuff go down. But it'll, of course, all remain to be seen when it actually does happen. For now, though, I'm, uh, look, I'm always hesitant uh, about Ascent because if Ascent comes down to just very set standard plays, it's either... You are, it's either you are going to be main, you know, like getting drawing util or public or liberations going to A, or you're going to A, and then and then and then you're drawing info and they're going to be right away. It's the back and forth, and sometimes, sometimes you go mid to A or mm -hmm. mid to B. Uh, I think was it I described it as Mirage, uh, which is a scent, and it that that's what that's what makes the most sense in my head. It's a good comparison. I feel like it's the best comparison that you can make when it comes to like one to one ratios between you know Valorant and Counter Strike. But I, I feel like even on a sense when you're adding in the agents on top of that, where you know you don't have that with uh, Counter Strike, you have a little bit more, I guess, ability to control that middle of the, the map, which is you know not something that you would get in a one to one between the, the two. So. I, I think, you know, specifically for a sense, you know, Ravish, when I'm looking at this in my eyes, um, between these two teams, I'm already feeling a little bit more comfortable for New York Tech. And I think it's because they went for a standard comp instead of pulling out some egregious pick that is uh, against meta. So if I mean, egregious can... is a strong word. Call it. Come I, on. They had no control on Haven uh, with, with the, uh, like with what they were playing so seeing a more yeah. standard pick on new york tech i'd like to see this team play a little bit more comfortable which is what we're hoping to see here mm -hmm. 
back to the basics or the fundies, as I like to say. Uh, and for those wondering, the Killjoy's name is Steven. I hope your questions were answered. <laughs> Easy. Just dry walk in into a free pick for board. No flash taken. But here, though, they look to re up, continue down A. They put that on TP. The fake put right in front of all of them. So they know exactly what that is. No faking around as they have everybody running over to A. I think they'll stake in, though. I, I saw some fun tech with Yoru the other day and using uh, their clone to slow peek at a headshot angle. And that forced, I guess, uh, the ability to swing off of it as if it was yet another person that you were trading out. And I, I thought it was yeah. super fun. So I, I hope we can see a little bit of fun come out with this Yoru pick on Ascend. And that, that's what I'm expecting from uh, Staten Island. And Lonnie with it, with the frenzy at range, is able to find that equalizer. No, that was over towards A main, so... There's no controller on the board for New York Tech. They might have to just give up this site if they can't hold the tree. He's keeping them interested at the least. He's one up top. Frenzy has to be tap sprayed to match the wake his way in. And they're still all chilling over by A. Oh, board finds him on the come up. He's looking to leave. But then now they know that B is wide, wide open. Killjoy just barely out of range. Or as a fact, Killjoy is dead. So it can't activate any of the Utah. No, none whatsoever. Light the call to hold Saga back over towards Pizza. 12 HP. A perfect opportunity to find some players on rotation. Very slow to the retake is New York Tech, so it's going to be short on time when push does come to shove. They're not going to fully check this one, and Saga's going to get away with taking down, I don't know, board. That's a huge player to take away from this retake. A lot of entry potential gone now from New York Tech. You're going to have to go deep with this one. Shattered in Boathouse. Right at them playing on oh. default. Derp's going to find the headshot, but now in a one versus two, time to get away. Shattered's going to find the Nano Swarm kill onto Derp. And a second on I-8, your cupcake, and a clutch round for CSI. That's crazy that the Jets pointing to a pixel over the box there. She's actually so tall, she gets headshotted. What a tragedy. <laughs> I didn't even know that. <laughs> you got the you got the high the high boots on the, the platforms on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should wear your moccasins or whatever. I don't know what 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 a brand of boots is, bro. Actually you know, I bought some Tim. boots recently. Well, I guess Tim's work with the more snowshoes. Yo, what's what are those boots that you you wanna break in? Oh, no, the you were wearing them. I remember I was wearing them. What are they called? It doesn't matter. Uh, board gets uh, gets half his health reduced. But what's given the space to go into a main? A natural conjugation of the fake. But Lonnie is the first to fall. They do take the rest of them by Jenny. As they walk in to find more. That's going to be a retake kind of dry for that. Even drier now that Ken's just spraying through that smoke. Yeah, dude. Uh, Staten Island should be collecting their second here, and Ken should be collecting just nothing but kills. A 4K out of Ken. How many times did we see a 4K out of Ken back on Haven? And now that we're seeing it already on Ascent, that's a scary sight. Lululemon, is that in the books? Oh, I, I'm going to look it up right now. Uh, I think it starts with like, I think I think it's a name. It's like Fred Friedman. I don't know. Donnie Brasco, whatever. It's it was just a clean take on a save naturally, you know, for CSI. So it's like, is that much more to say about it? Because it was a save, but this was how we started off in map number one as well, and in map two here, and YT now has a chance to make things even once more. They change up the strat to be noted. They finally go towards B. They put the knife out early. It does get shot off, so no info is found, but they're slow walking through mid. Sova is around here as well on the fake. Doesn't give away any info. Meanwhile, they are rotating over the signaling that hey, this might be the they might, this might be the famous mid take. See you know, nowhere. Max finds one just the wall bang. Has to fall off with ADHP. Oh, yeah. Throws down the door too. Just biding their time and first across nice placement with the crosshair shadow's gonna walk right into that shot. Flash out from Lonnie. It doesn't matter. Max playing off that angle and. Able to freely walk away with two. Drops the smoke. Doesn't have to drop that door. So, Staten Island, they kind of get picked apart there. And don't do a three versus five. Here. Looking for more here, though. You know, there are all the eco weapons, of course. So, 
The gun differential is uh, well felt here, clearly. As Jerp will get traded, so Saga will find his. But just one, though, and the classic 2 1 will happen. Same situation as last time, but a lot better eco standing for NYT this time. Yeah, four players stay alive. I mean, you have that Guardian, so maybe not the best buy going into a full rifle round, but I've seen, I've seen the guarding pop off at times and for defense you don't really have to make it work too too much you just have to set up on those one shot angles but i'm really impressed with the way the max has been playing on this omen pick and if max can continue to make plays like that over towards a it's gonna force staten island to start to hit out towards mid and b more often the approaching towards b this time around for Staten Island. The Killjoy is going to have to set up, so it's going to really be down to Steven to see if you can hold your life and make sure that you're able to use this utility to help out your KO. And information over towards Market. I ain't your cock is going to peek out over towards Alley. Lonnie goes the first to go down here, so now Staten Island caught in a trap. Derp's going to peek out towards Market. Max, everybody Ooh. getting a little piece of the pie here. And that is going to be a full shutdown from New York Tech. Just not able to find a single piece of info or any space at all on to be either. Like you're saying, the unlocks are one by one. The entries get, the entries do get taken away. And instead of rotating, they try to force it still to continue onto the site. But it was a stack for NYT that caught them early on and leave them in an even position once again. CSI, their attacking half was quite was quite nice on Haven. Turn on the honest scent though, only two rounds in, has not been able to find the same sort of, same sort of success. A full stinger by those is what we see currently. No command available for next round. Stinger at range. Uh, yeah, we're not in that meta anymore. No, we're not. Still okay. Still pretty. Doc Martens, by the way. That's what you're looking for. Thank you. That was the name. Chan's gonna go down first this time. I know board just teams around that corner. Max is gonna give away a lot of information, but that Stinger is actually gonna prevail now. One, two, I don't know, board even full health. It's gonna chip that one down, and Shatter gets two. Lonnie now looking for, to, for space over towards Glass. That's gonna get traded out. Three versus three, but two rifles should have been recovered for Staten Island. Nothing found from here, though. Max the way they in. Just some shots here, too. Using the volley to hold back the space. Not gonna find it. Anything off of it either, a bold play of one that doesn't pay off here either. And then leave them holding one below, one of the outside. Nice first shot, easy for Benefit. Oh, no. As they hold across the peaks, a bit too aggressive. He's on five health, and he takes it by himself. Five HP and dreaming for the round win for Staten Island off of some huge plays coming out of Shattered and that Stinger. Shattered carrying over that Stinger for the post plant too, playing um, the off angle to Brandon and the crossfire is good enough to at least distract those players for the retake. But that's going to hold their lead yet again. I mean, two quick rounds from New York Tech. Very decisive rounds out of them as well. But when push comes to shove and Max gets forced off of tree, you don't have that support for board. And, you know, you just kind of get overwhelmed by those close angles that those stingers were looking to take over. So, hey, it's uh, Staten Island now looking to start to pull ahead with this one. They're going to use that null command right away. And for this entry to site, Max just needs to be careful in the way you play this. I like the maximum that's going to the side as well, but oh, gets found so early on. Oh, if we had the timing before the door gets closed, though. We have 5 1 4 and almost a full retake. They do have both bodies set up for in front of the spike as well. Hunter, Hunter. The Hunter's free gets put out. Doesn't find anything here either. Just one tag by the end here, Seymour. Some guy's going to catch board and clip their wings. Ken, Lonnie, everybody's just winning their tools right now. If there's anything you can rely on when you're in Staten Island is that your gun skill is looking to be immensely greater than New York Tech at the moment. They are shooting really good today inside the server. And it just doesn't seem like New York Tech are really putting the puzzle pieces together to set each other up very well in these retakes. Unfortunately not. They tried to go in through the door, so they're going to find anything there. And then up by a habit by using Hunter's Fury first to clear out the site, but it was so concentrated on the one angle there. Actually made no spaces off it either. Instead, it allowed CSI to get more aggressive into pushing NYC even further back. 
And then the spray and pray works beautifully. Oh, board's got a sheriff. At least good for one. Oh, yeah. I'd take the over in this one, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, every single time. He's enough. The, oh, the dry peak there. And not even the so jump shot, too. It's just everything that they do when, uh, you know, I don't know, Port has the sheriff. They just, they know they need to be cautious around this. And I feel you like they're too run. cautious. And that's giving them that time. But Lockdown's going to be shot out here. It looks like one shock dart was invested from Derp. So nothing really to slow down this take that's about to come for CSI. Board's going to drop back into hell now with the sheriff looking for a freebie. And there it oh, is. Ken's yep. going to walk deep in, lands that headshot. Rifle will be down. And numbers of the retake doubled with the marshal hitting its mark at a max. Lonnie now looking to see if they can dig their way out of this hole with Spike uh, Carrier getting killed. Saka in a two versus three playing off this crossfire. They swing uh -huh. out. Saka gets two. All down to Max with the Marshall. It doesn't seem like this round is going to be here for New York Tech. It just comes down to Saga putting it away with 30 seconds left. Will they be able to get the res even on tight? Your cupcake looks like Max is going to try to go for it. The dimensional drift from Lonnie is going to be used for that one just to distract him. And CSI, they continue to push forward. But that was a very, very expensive round. Interesting use of the ult. But like you're saying, yeah, expensive indeed. They put out two ultimates. And on the side of NYC, like, guys, we know Saga's there. Right? It's like, I know past the smoke, they, they do seem to duck back in. But they gave him the opportunity to go out past the smoke and have a lineup on the three people. Both him and uh, uh, both him and Brennathan. Pretty much just free frying so much so they had to reload twice. Shot a little bit late though. Board sees one by mid. And now they know where the op is. That's an easy smoke off to get in the space to move forward. Into A at least. Nothing gonna be taken by mid here at all. No. Altorb collected too from Lonnie. So it's back to step one for this little ultimate after that one. Definitely was interesting the way they used it. But they're going to rotate the kill toy over towards A. And now they have the nano swarms here already going to be utilized by Steven. And Ken's just going to updraft and tailwind oh. right in front of the kill toy. Find that kill and take control of the site for free. Almost derp. Looking to get some action. But it's not the action you really wanted. Saga has been on point with this Vandal. It's just easy for him, too. He knows exactly which angle he's looking to face. And on board gets one every single time. He's good for the overall. That is 100%. It's just the one, though, is the issue as well. They have the crossfire, too. They, they can do this. He's good. They gotta win their fights, though. And it just says, not the way you do it, Ken. With the absolute snapper at the end there, too. This is a bloodbath in favor of CSI. And... Uh, it's just, it seems like nothing is able to stop this relentless pressure. And I don't know what will. I, it's, it's just so tough where it seems like every single time CSI finds their way onto the site, there's no stop in them at all. And for NYT, they're playing the retake consistently. It makes you question even more, so okay. Maybe it's not a hold a bit more forward to stop TSI at the brink, but the opportunity's found just yet. Oh, almost catching with the recon bolt in hand. Max lands a shot at the marshal in the thinnest angle. But it doesn't look like Staten Island want to slow down this roll whatsoever. Derp is going to go back in for that one and give away that life advantage. It is going to be a 4 of 4. These rifles still looking to fight through tree behind the clone it looks like the rats are gonna fl uh, flood on through tailwind in the side board not gonna hit the shots this time max at least able to collect another kill with this marshal but Staten island with the spike down i look to find their seventh round now steven has picked up a vandal so maybe a chance with the vandal and armor to bring this one back but again it's gonna have to be quickly with the spike already planted and position known to one player over towards Generator. Brandon's going to sweep Steven under the rug, though, and that should be it. So insanely strong. And again, we see the same cycle repeat over and over and over again. It's as though where Steven Strange and Dormammu just can't seem to find a single deal with us, bro. So we come back looking to bargain over and over again. 
We'll see right now. Who strikes a deal? Currently, as it is seven to two, a, a buy once more. The NYT have been stuck on the ping pong. They have locked down here to slow them down. And they're stacking up here at least by eight. There's a four versus a gamble stack by eight, which might just work out. It was a major motion picture, so, you know, it didn't last that long, but there was infinite bargains that went on against Omama. There and, was a lot. Uh, I think, you know, there was at least that one chance, so maybe that one chance is all you need. Flash through the clone is also going to flash Derp. Still alive for some reason. Derp gets that kill. And here comes the cavalry already right behind it. Kill from, I don't know, board is going to back them down into a main. Steven already set up on the flank. So now looking for this exit, New York Tech, they're walking right into the trap. The alarm bot is going to be there to give this whole thing away. Do they have the read on the Spectre, though? Tucked away all the way into the spawn. Shadow's going to check into the Vandal a little bit better in that duel. Only dropping down to 86 HP. Seems like this chance is still here from the Shadows on the beach. Chased down by Max. Ultimate oh. versus Ultimate. And here they go. Spike not going to be able to get planted either. Brantham going to be paranoid all the way back. Boathouse fighting for his life. They know exactly where to look. No. And Max is going to be able to find the third round for New York Tech. The gamble stack works when they, when they get essentially stuck in a rut or they knew what worked. CSI, we're like, you know what? Let's run it back. ANYC caught them right up front. Although the round was a bit too close to call, though. Another swung angle and a looked over sight. A corner checked more, much more intently. And maybe, 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 maybe seeing something different. But here and now, though, CSI, they finally change up how they're looking to play. They put two over by B. Uh, some flank watches go on. That's as how they got taken down previously. And here. Okay, they find nothing early on, though. But they're keeping the Yoru around. Interesting. Here. Hey, keeping the Yoru around over towards A. Judge in hand, too. So, Dimensional Drift is going to be picked up off that old orb. Pops it immediately. And now looking to maybe get into an angle where you can set this Judge up for full success. TP there onto site. Sitting back, kills, walking away in favor of CSI. So really, Lonnie doesn't have to do anything other than post up in hell with this judge and set up for this post plant. The lockdown is here for New York Tech, but do you want to invest it to maybe fight for this 7-5 half in a 3 versus 5? It is doable, especially considering how low this KO is. For the side of Staten Island, but Brandon's going to be the first contact all the way on top of Generator. Board's going to be there for the trade, but you lose out onto that lockdown. Ken lands the headshot onto, I don't know, Board and puts the round away yet again. A 3k for Ken to take the raid. And CSI? See, all they had to do was change things up just a little bit. I understand that, you know, you, you're looking to play on what is successful, but... That does naturally give the team's inclination of, okay, this is exactly how we want to counter them. And the less for now, though, they'll instead finally look to move towards B. So, a change in take as it is a bit of a broken bio side of NYT. Bulldogs and light shields and such. Is he one of my team firepower? Lightstorm doesn't find anything just yet, though. But Sova and Killjoy by B here should be. A tough to way to, to move in. Mm. So realistically, they could just walk back onto here again. But last time they had to deal with this KJ setup onto B, they kind of fell into a trap. And New York Tech may be looking to do that yet again with three players lingering over toward the site. Shattered. Reaching for a kill through its mid, but... Now over on towards B we go. I don't know, Ford's going to land that shot with the Blaze Storm onto Lonnie. So that's first pick already going to be gained out of uh, New York Tech. Ken's going to have to drop this door through mid. Say Sega going to find it. They killed onto Steven on site. No more Killjoy to have to worry about it immediately. They tumble. The collapse Ooh. of Staten Island takes three players oh. down. But Max, 
looking to take them right back out of the board still with that blade storm double cloud first to use blocks off the angles in towards market nose shattered is there if they can isolate one of these skills they can look to take this round in a one versus two fashion but it's finding the kill that is the hard part shatter doing a great job at playing their nice. life Ranthem's gonna be able to isolate board and this should be nine on the board for staten island min moments to put this one away shattered biding their time Brantham playing right. around the dice and there just doesn't seem like there's time to get this one done shatter's gonna run. race to clean it up run. and he's gonna be able to get this one too max halves it but there's just no time to finish it barely brought back from the brink if max is able to hold that the entire time and the defuse is theirs but it does get stopped right at the precipice giving them the 9-3 half at least a bit of leeway for nyit and on their attack, they were quite good about trading it back to get the first two pistols. Can they do it again? There was a question. It's the defense of CSI, which has been quite good. And Ascent, it's a pattern recognition. But on these early pistols, let's just see where the firepower really gets, really gets concentrated, though. Still that chance. One in a million chance here for New York Tech to make this comeback. On the attacking side, what have they been cooking when thinking to go to Ascent in this week? CSI already has the read over towards A, so this three stack is going to be good. Board this time doesn't have the Sheriff, so I don't know how I'm feeling about this one. I do not know either, my friend. I am just a bit... Perplexed. They're slow playing. But there's one skin to get. Looks like on A though. As they rush in, the smoke doesn't cover a DK board, but it doesn't even force them to back off. Ken gets one. They stop them by the entrance. They're just again waiting, hoping to force their way in. They're just chilling here, Sim. What? Hoping for a mistake, but you know, right now Staten Island just aren't showing too many of them. I see Ike, your cupcake can now be eating that bullet from Lonnie's ghost. And Max again with a little Hail Mary picked me up with those last couple kills with the pistol. But by all means for Staten Island, looking great throughout this series so far. They find double digits, 10 to 3. And great chance to now start to climb to put this one away very soon. This is a, a tough time now, especially because now for CSI, they can pretty handily take this round. It's a full stack over by B here as well, Colin. So, didn't find any info. You hear the jump peak, and Lonnie can just look to flash in, but the way patiently. It's just the your things at this point. Just... Steven, hello. Ghost at range, gonna find its mark. And everybody's going to be backed up over in towards Checkers. Lonnie now starting to push in through Garage. Sega gets a second one there. Tumbling down goes New York Tech. And 11 rounds here for CSI. Nothing is stopping this train. I mean, Reach, this is crazy at the moment. I mean, after what we saw in Haven, I was expecting Ascent to kind of be quite similar. A back and forth affair of, you know, New York Tech, you know, fighting for a lot of those rounds, especially on their defense. But um, Staten Island, they are just so relentless in the space that they're wanting to take. 16 and 8 out of Saga, 16 and 9 out of Ken. A dynamic duo is running through New York Tech at the moment. Mm-hmm. And they can continue to do this. They can continue to pull these strings. Because at this point, NYIT are caught in that ping pong economy zay. That's economy in French. And it'll leave them pretty high and dry, my friend. Here, rifle for board. No updraft taken, naturally. But you hope you can find some updrafting of the kills, if anything. Just jump peaks galore. No one falling. 
And we'll move away, spiking a pretty neutral spot here as well, just poking around for info. Rightfully so, New York Tech is so afraid to take space here. They control mid, but heading into tree means you have to fight against Lonnie and this Yoru. Heading over towards A means you have to deal with the Killjoy. It seems like Lonnie is going to be pressured out here. Flash for the Spectre are not going to land there. That was a deep flash, so Stephen A-OK -okay to utilize this Guardian on that angle. The Paranoia is going to hit dirt, but the Overwatch over your shoulder is still the Guardian. Watching over this sofa, B site is wide open, and there's 32 seconds. You can rotate here, but are they going to realize that at this moment? No, they're going to go right in towards A to get the spike planted. Just to bob them will be Saga. Whole team is here for the retake. Flash out from Saga is going to hit Shattered. He's going to be isolated. Max going to take this down. Board working the flank. Cupcake watching the spike. Everything set up right now for New York Tech to stay alive and find their fourth. It's a one versus one with board in the perfect spot to win this one out, but the smoke down, Brenton's gonna hop it. And mm. now they know exactly where the jet is. Lose. It's halved, Ravish is halved. You saw him. And Brenton no, knows the shots are gonna hit. There's time to get the defuse. And New York Tech, they fall apart and crumble. Staten Island get the clutch yet again. Dude, Jet's ponytail into her again. They had no idea where the jet actually was, but saw the hair above the boxes. Somebody's called it. Somebody's got to tell the devs this is a strategical disadvantage. <laughs> what is happening? And yeah, like you're saying, the drop down is there, but doesn't actually hear it. He had no idea where board was. He had the perfect flank, albeit at an inopportune time. And now the fight for survival continues. They have an op in hand. They find nothing there. The center towards A. The op shouldn't see anything unless Cupcake decides to be so brazen by, by mid. Doesn't seem to be the case. Doesn't see one early. Steven goes down. There's no way that Ken is just walking for free there. Brantham is going to win such an important fight. That could have been op down, but the trust right now from Staten Island is out of this world. And Saga is going to find a second one. So now New York Tech really in a pickle here. Three players remaining. They're going to have to overwhelm Saga here. They are going to know exactly where the KO is. But Saga's going to get another kill. Flash over. Derp going to have to go deep to get that long switch over towards the Vandal. Has to play for the spike plant. Almost gets clipped by this operator. The spike hasn't even gone down yet, Ravish. Staten Island, they're already here. And Cupcake, only a Guardian to back up his teammate. Lands the shot of the oh. one. Brantham quickly traded out by Ken. And now Staten Island looking for the comeback after a loss in week one. With a knife from Man. Ken, it's going to be set in stone. Staten Island dominate on Ascend 13-3 to to start off their second week with a win. Yeah, they look incredible against NYIT, man. That was uh, a game that was, you know, close in the first map and not at all in the second. They find the complete footing on Ascent, and they kind of just gun diff them for a lot of those rounds, which, hey, impressive as it is, that's off to y'all and GG's to both teams. Yeah, I, there's nothing really more to say, I mean, other than the fact that I think when you look at all in all, it's just coming into today, I was expecting some really good plays from the College of Staten Island after what we saw last week with them taking, you know, um, Southern New Hampshire all the way to map number three. That was an incredible series in, in week number one. So I was expecting a lot from this team. It's my first time seeing New York Tech, so I was giving them the benefit of the doubt, but... I need to see this team work on a couple of things, you know, going into the, the future weeks. If they want this rematch mm -hmm. in the future, going to have to see if they can change a few things and, you know, maybe hit the books and see if they can find some strats to take down um, the College of Staten Island in future games, Ravish. But we are going to be looking to set up an interview. So you and I are going to take a step back, see if we can get somebody here from the College of Staten Island. Folks watching, we'll see you in a bit, hopefully with a player on screen joining us.
Welcome back, everybody, to the ECC. A short little break, but we do have somebody ready to join us. My name is Seymour with me, Ravishing Ravishin, sitting on the desk, joining in with us from the College of Staten Island. We have Lonnie joining us after a 2-0 win, so we are going to bring him in here. And Lonnie, brother, welcome to the desk. I'm going to start with a very easy one. I need to know. The people need to know. What's up with the Euro pick? <laughs> Oh man, I knew I knew it was gonna come. I knew, but um, I'll be honest. Um, me and my boys, this team is very new. The day before we versed SNHU, it was new. No chemistry, no nothing. We played all this week, and I was just playing Yoru, and I kept saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna play Yoru. I'm gonna play Yoru. I'm gonna play Yoru." And then eventually, I just played Yoru, and uh, we were laughing. But because you, you gotta have a little fun with it sometimes. Yeah, you know? you're man of your word at that <laughs> point. Yeah, man. I mean. I had to. I love him. Yours is a great pick. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. It was fantastic. Of course, naturally, you you show, you also shown your flexibility by bringing out the chambers. So, credit you playing initiate, you playing Santi. Now, is there more in the bucket for what kind of roles you bring in opera? Are we seeing? Are we seeing initiator next week? What's up? Uh, we seen a lit initiator last week, and uh, this mm. week we seen Sentinel and uh, Duelist, and then next Ooh. week I think I'm gonna close it out with. Whatever's left, you know, just show the flexibility. They call yeah, me Mr. Deadlock. Phil lurking, and that's it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So are, are we seeing deadlock or not, nah, bro? Do it, do it, do it for the people. Be the first person to play her. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna hold you to it. I, I'm gonna be deadlock, <laughs> but I don't want you to forget it. I will right. play deadlock next week. I will. Okay, all right. I, I bet. 100%. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. On I sunset too. To on this. sunset too. I, well, I'll pick sunset. Let's go, Sky. We <laughs> haven't seen sunset. Everybody's scared to play sunset. What's the problem? Sunset. I banned it because. I'll be honest, I haven't played this game in a very long time, and I, I was, mm. you know, I was using the bathroom, and I was doing the picks, and I'm like, what maps are in the game? I forgot. I don't even know what's in the pool. So I seen, you know, a sunset, whatever, but we're going to end it off with sunset and deadlock. I'll do it for That's... you, Ravish. All right, all right, all right. Much appreciated, homie. I, I, I can't wait for that. You're going to come in new, new. That's what I want to see. Now, my final question for me is going to be, now, I seen, I seen you a fan of the animes, as am I, bro. If you... If you were somebody from Naruto, who was you, man? Who was your personification? Ah, um, I'll be honest. You know, I hate to be that guy who always picks the MC, but for me, I gotta go with this three. There's three for me. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe four, but whatever. It all comes down four. to it comes down to Naruto. Yeah. It yeah. comes down to Kimimaro. It okay, comes man. down to Rock Lee, and then okay. I gotta go. Maybe my favorite tied with Naruto, Gara, hundred percent. You know. Keep Kimi Maru's a crazy pick, but yeah. all right, bro. I respect it. <laughs> I love the guy. You know what he went through, like that. So that's the greatest anime of all time. So it is yes, sir. It is. Yes, it is. Call it. What you got? I mean, it's simple. I mean, you guys came into this week, hopefully, looking to gain some more team camaraderie through throughout. You know, your new team mm -hmm. future. What's the what's the goals of you know your team? What are you what are you guys looking to accomplish here together? All jokes aside, uh, I know, you know, it's good to have a little bit of fun because you don't get this chance. Uh, you don't have another life, so this is the only chance you get doing this. You got to have a little fun, but all jokes aside, I like I like the guys. I like the guys. We have uh, six people. We didn't get to showcase one of them. Shout out Sandy. But, uh, yeah, the guys are great. Uh, like I said, the day before SNHU, we got that team together, and then we didn't even practice once. We just went in there bare. I, it definitely looked that way. You know, we did look like we were just playing DM, peeking one by one and stuff. But this week, I actually took them to campus, and we, we made that happen. And I was showing them because 2020, our college actually won the Valorant Championship. And then another year, maybe 21. But they, they won it, and then I was showing them everything. We just got that, like, movie vibe. we seen the trophies. we seen everything. We built that chemistry. We did a VOD review. So it's like, you know, what, what more do you really need? And... We're just locked in. We played all week. We practiced as a team, and, you know, we're ready to go. Like I said last year, we made it to the semis, and I do want to tell you, like, my PC is very bad. It's laggy, but that's why I look like a boss sometimes. But, listen, you want to go all the way. You want to go. You want to win a championship. That's that's obviously the goal, and I feel like with these group of guys, um, well, we can make that happen, you know? that That's that's the goal. Of course. I mean, you guys. Shout out. Yeah. Big, big shout out there, especially shout out to your sixth member. Um. And you're looking to make your miracle run and set a legacy for the school. I love that. I love that story oh, yeah. for Staten Island. But um, before we do let you go, you know, speaking on shoutouts, is there any 
anything you want to, you know, mention about your school, maybe the support program, any shout outs you want to make to your school in general? Yeah. Uh, shout out to, uh, Plural Aces. I know this is his shirt. My man made a shirt for us. You know, respect GG's only CSI, <laughs> you know, I had, to, I had to do it for him. I told him I'll put the shirt on there. A shout out to him. He does. He, uh, he takes it serious. He's a really good guy. He, he comes through for us. Uh, he, he really does. He takes this very seriously. And I think that's amazing because a lot of people would seem that this is eSports. You know, it's not real sports or anything. But, you know, it's it's just a sport as any of the next. And he takes that very seriously. And he's a very good guy. Very good guy. He, uh, we did the VOD review yesterday. And he let us use the room. And he was very welcoming. So shout out to him. Shout out to my boy X. You know, we, we have tens. But then we also have Kens. You know, it's no real difference there with the jet pick. He's amazing. Shout out Saga. On the initiator, what a beast that guy is setting us up and allowing us to actually entry. Shout out to Bernithum, amazing. You can see the flex from him, smokes and initiator, amazing player. Um, and then shout out to Shattered, um, he's amazing sentinel. You know he always uh, fills in a role if we need it, and he's a great guy as well. I finally met them yesterday, and uh, also shout out to Sandy. I know she didn't get to play today, but uh, very good player as well. You know it's always good vibes. The past week we've been playing and stuff, and it's just. What we're building there, we're we're definitely even last year, definitely the underdogs, always the underdogs, and I love that feeling, because it's just like it's like a Cinderella story. We wanted to make it happen against SNHU, but they obviously showed why they were the better team that night, practicing and stuff. But uh, yeah, I feel like we're ready to come and in the last game, I feel like we need that win, and then uh, I'll see everybody else in the playoffs. You know, that's all I can say more. Can't yeah. say much more. Big shout outs to your team. Congratulations on the win. I love what you guys are building, and I cannot wait to see you know where you guys go from here. I'm on board with the Cinderella story. I'm ready for the the Let's go. just an Island legacy run that we're getting, Let's Lonnie. Go. And I can't wait to see you back on the desk again uh, sometime. So you take care. Enjoy your night. You know, right. with the Thank team you. too. Off of that win, you guys oh, deserve yeah. it after the performance you put on. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it amazing gentlemen we have in this uh esports you, you amazing females amazing everybody just you guys are good you good people man you guys uh make this available for us and uh one more thing man anybody else who's watching join the cinderella story gg's only csi dolphins <laughs> baby <laughs> i'm excited See you next week with deadlock on the sunset my boys let's get it <laughs> i'm ready for it lonnie take care buddy have a great night uh, you too guys take it easy Ravish, we got Sunset, Deadlock, a Cinderella story, GG's only from the Dolphins. Oh, he's a great guy. I love that. Yeah, that was a wonderful time. But unfortunately, Colin, our wonderful time has, of course, come to an end, though. So I want to thank you, of course, for being here. Appreciate everybody. Of course, the both teams, production, observers, Atiyos, everybody doing their thing. And of course, you've been by my side the entire night. And you all for watching. Remember, we got League of Legends tomorrow. Same time, same place. Y'all make sure to tune in. Until then, have a good night. Peace.
instead. That's nice to see. So even though we haven't seen North Georgia really be able to march forward with a lot of convincing attacks, at least the oh. back line up until now has been secure. Can't get the read on the bounce, and that's finally our first goal. 10 seconds to go for mm -hmm. Kennesaw trying to close this one out. Yeah, still with the pressure here from Kennesaw. Now only our second demo. This one from oh! downtown, and that's going to be an own goal here at three seconds. We spoke a little too soon here, Danger Talk. Slavit left side, little tap, not really taking 